Good afternoon. We are continuing with uh, the second series of assertiveness, a topic in social studies for JSS2. In this section, we shall be looking at the skills that has to do with assertiveness. Take note what we are aiming at as in the teaching objective assertiveness skills also it will be necessary for us to know the importance of assertiveness and at the same time behaviors that can enhance assertiveness in the first series i've been able to explain the meaning of assertiveness that is expressing your feelings without offending others so here assertiveness skills has to do with you must be able to take a position let people know exactly what you want it is very important that you take a position and at the same time you must be able to state and repeat your position stating and repeating one's position you must allow people to know exactly what you want and also taking the offensive if need be. Sometimes we just have to let peace reign so that things can go well. So you can take the offensive side when people are condemning you, abusing you. You just take it. You have your reason. You have expressed yourself. You have let people know this is what I want but they don't want to understand. So you just have to take the offensive so that peace can reign, so that they will not see you as a bully. Also, offering a compromise, if need be. Just try to compromise so that things can go well. It takes us to refuse further discussion. Don't say any other thing at that moment. These are skills that will assist you, that at the long run, people will get to understand that yes, you really know what you want. Then walking away from the scene. When you discover that the argument or trying to express yourself and they don't want to appreciate what you are saying, so just let go. And when you let go, it will bring peace. And people like your teacher, the management, they will look at the matter and they will be able to assist you out of it. This will take us to the importance of assertiveness. Why you need that? Number one, it helps to avoid exploitation. So you will not need to, you know, they won't see you as if you are trying to lower your power, your right on others. Remember, you are not trying to make others feel bad. It helps you to get what you want with respect. So at the long run, they will respect you. And at the same time, you will get exactly what you want. You get what you want, why any respect? So people will respect you because they will have seen the, the true side of the matter. It increases one's self-esteem. It encourages you to improve your self-esteem. It gives a sense of fulfillment. It makes you to be fulfilled. You become somebody that is relevant in your class, in the society, among your peers, it promotes friendship. It will assist you to be able to continue with your friendship with others. So this is the reason why we need to embrace assertiveness and at the same time to allow that spirit of assertiveness to be in us so that we'll be able to be a better person in the society. This takes us to, this will take us to this take us to how to improve our behaviors 